Hey guys, here we are in service meeting in 2011 here at Miami Jacobs in Dayton, Ohio. We have Sharon Danforth here has helped put this thing together. Lots of creativity, exciting in service. I've had people say they've got a lot out of it this year. And one of the buzzwords for us is academic rigor, which means that we hold ourselves to standards sure. and that we hold the students to standards. Uh -huh. People could give their input. What does academic rigor mean to you? Okay. How do you use it in the classroom? Sure, I had a good and Julie Collins, you know, just uh, yes. teaching us some conflict resolution. And so she gave some techniques as far as de escalating situations. Okay. Jeff, you also did yeah. creativity in the, in the classroom. Yeah, I had fun. And with that. I heard lots of applause. Yeah. And you used the projector uh -huh. with your with your Video. student instructors. Uh, yeah. My name is Jeff Books. We're here in the creative uh, classroom environment. What can we do creatively to keep our students engaged in the process of learning? Uh, so we're going to run these scenarios down for you, and uh, I think you're going to enjoy it. Check it out. Right. As Art is pulling out of a customer's drive, he scrapes the fender of a car parked on the street. What should Bud do? I right. find out who that car belongs to. Look, so, we're already a block away. What does it matter? They won't know if no one says anything. We got a white car, they got a red car. We got paint all over. I there. doubt I did any damage anyway. It was just a little tap. Can we go back and look? Good, good. I'm not going to jail for you. Well, my name is. David Hessen, who is the faculty trainer Great in job. Dayton, yes. he did new research in education. It reinforces yes. you know, the fact that students have to tie an emotion in in order to learn and retain information. Right, Brittany right. Walker do a book fair for us and they provided breakfast. That was great. I tell you, the bagels and the coffee, coffee. and everybody signing in in the morning. is like maybe a hundred people here excited exactly to be here. Exactly right, about a hundred people and it Energy. makes people happy to have food and camaraderie, sure. talk to their partners in crime, you yes, know, who's absolutely. in your program. Hey, lots of activity in the classroom, uh, students coming up and role playing and the TPI philosophy there, we teach right. here at Miami Jacobs, right? Right. We Miami Jacobs, 150 years, working on 151 years, you're around that long and it's not a mistake, you're doing something right, right? Changing lives, changing futures. Very good. Thanks for talking with us. Thank you. Very good. Bye guys. Joe, the driver of the truck, always plays the radio too loud and too often. Chuck decides to mention this to him. What should he say? As you work on the soft skills, here's a scenario where you're just going to be adamant. Hey, no one's disrespecting you. This is how it goes. And action. I'm driving in my car. I turn on the radio. Hey, hey Joe. I pull you hey. close. Hey, hey, and Joe. I don't know. Joe. What? What's what? up? I'm trying to sing. Gosh. Yeah, but I mean. Scare me to death. That, that old music like that, I mean. At least, can't we hear some hip hop or something like on low volume? My car doesn't play hip hop. Oh, it's really? Oldies, yeah. Maybe you should get some hearing aids or something. It's driving me crazy. Oh, I should get hearing aids. That's right. Oh, you, oh. you are yeah, always like, the problem in this car. It's my car. You're, well, yeah, but I'm, I'm writing. I'm the guest. You're supposed to be nice to me. And I have the voice, so. I can't. <laughs> I can't tell. Turn that damn thing down. <laughs> well. <laughs> Give him a hand, give him a hand. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> and action. This is the good side. Go ahead. I'm driving in my car. Hey, Joe. Yeah, Bill. Joe. Chuck, whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, hey. You, know, you have a really great voice, but. Thank you. Yeah, I've got this little ear thing going on here. It's giving me a little bit of a headache. You think you could turn that oh, down? Oh, I'm so sorry. Of course I can turn it down. Oh, what a I good girl you are. Isn't ears? that wonderful? I knew I, I liked you for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a hand, folks. Very good. John is standing in the line waiting to punch the time clock at the end of a long, hard day. Jack, one of the older workers, crowds in front of him saying, Watch out, Sonny. I belong at the head of the line. What should John do? No, You're no, gonna no, just I'm, jump in like I'm, that. I'm sorry, that's okay though. I'm, I've been here a long time, so I. No! Seniority rules. No, 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 please. Seniority rules. No, no. I need. Excuse I need, me. Excuse I, got, I got places to go. I gotta get to the bar. Come on, let's go. Move. <laughs> <laughs> give him a hand, give him a hand. Five, five, five. Right. Yeah, let's go. Time to go. I, 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 see. I just be. I need. You need to be kind to one another. Okay. Okay, okay well, maybe. I'll hey. think about it. Fun. See what that is? Now we're going to look at it right here on the camcorder, right here for you. Here we go. <laughs> Miami Jacobs, 150 years, working on 151 years. You're around that long, and it's not a mistake. You're doing something right, 
right? Changing lives, changing futures. Very good. Thanks for talking with us. Thank you. Very good. Bye, guys. And, and action.